Oh god. Oh yeah. This is giving me Fates flashbacks. Ah, uh -huh, fun levels. I forgot about this. Oh yeah, so this is... Do you, do you, are you aware of the, um... I don't care about the rest, or kill the rest, just bring me the girl meme? No. Okay, every once in a while on the Fire Emblem Heroes subreddit, you'll see, like, if they're, like, really crappy units, and then one really good female unit, they'll do the meme of, like, kill the rest, just bring me the girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, why am I reading this? Go away. So are we doing another one? Yeah, we're doing two. I, how long is the other one? I don't know. We're doing I want to check that for chapter two. per episode. It doesn't matter, because this, this is going to be a long game without it. Okay, so according uh. to my calculations, there's this guy, so check this out. He got a speed wings, which is good. It's like a stat booster. He also has Luna. These are the stats of Luna. Might zero. What, yeah. What? So 95 hit, 20 crit. It does have 12 weight. I thought it was a little bit lighter, but this guy has 12 magic. He will do 12 damage, and he also has a 25% crit rate, so... Yeah, baby. I am going to steal the speed wings, because I am a gamer, so we're just... You're a real gamer. Oh, we have a mine! Alright, we're gonna do the mine glitch at some point, too. That's fun. What is that? If you use a mine, there's a glitch in this game where, um, as the mine, you... Okay, so how it works is you, like, drop it on a tile, and then if an enemy walks over it, then it'll, like, detonate and deal, like, 50% of their health as damage. Um, or, like, 10 or however much. If you reset the game as it's detonating, then you get to control the enemy units, and you can make them, like, throw away their weapons or, like, trade them to you. It's hilarious. Nice. Okay. Wow, RTF2. Yep. Actually, let's switch over to something more appropriate. R slash Fire Emblem. Or R slash the game we're currently playing. The game we're... Wish I didn't have to bring Ellie Wood. Well... Sorry, but that doesn't wow. exist. Well, too bad. Guess we'll have to watch Fire Emblem on the big screen. Frick! I don't want to do that. You criticize Aiden for Instagramming all the dang time. Alright, you know what would be even funnier is to not steal the speed wings and just use Guy. Because, <laughs> what the frick. Just triple dab on him. Alright, so we're going to deploy Merlinus. He doesn't take oh, I'm going to be sick, Jeffrey, so... God, I wouldn't want to Ooh. fight if my arm was... Oh yeah, so this is what the, um, talking to Anna gets us. This guy's name is, like, Jake. Who me? I am Dangrose's crew. What about me? Yeah, so... She's a Fun little Easter thought. egg. Um, yeah, they have the merchant. I might buy stuff, because this is, like, the last time you get to for a while. I will say, I don't know how I feel about Anna's design in Three Houses. Eh, it's, yeah, it's kinda weird. They turn her hair pink this time instead of red. Also, I wanna know, it'd be really funny if they did, like, some twist where, like, they revealed, like, Anna is some, like, interdimensional being. No, she is, she's just, like, a Nurse Joy. She just has a lot of sisters. Across different dimensions. Yeah. Well, I mean, Fate or uh, Awakening already showed that you can travel across realms. Yeah, I Remember mean. Remember Out Realms? Yeah. You know what I'd really like? A cookie. Yes, but also, <laughs> if they accepted Fire Emblem Heroes as partially canon. I wouldn't. That, the only thing worse than that is accepting Tokyo Mirage <laughs> as canon. Oh, I actually want to play that because I've heard it's kind of uh, like Persona. -ish. You can play it on your own time. It's it's. Oh, I definitely will. Musical We're not that Fire Emblem. <laughs> fire Emblem. They literally sing that. You're like. I know they do. Also, they used Crom and oh, what's her freaking name? Kada. Why didn't you just use Marth, you potatoes? Yeah. Well, would have made so many people happy if you would have just used Marth. Yeah, well, and not Crom that looks like Marth. 
All right, so we get to buy weapons. Do you know? Oh, we should probably just That's buy That's dangerous. For another hand axe for heck. Another for steel heck. axe for someone. Why are you buying another hand axe for heck? Are we going to heck? When are we going to heck? Today. <laughs> nice. Also, uh, why is the iron sword and steel sword in blue? What? Oh, because those are the ones that he could use. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so no, he can't use any of these. Also, oh, something that I did in Three Houses, I just made Flame Keeper of the Keys. So I would <laughs> basically fill her inventory with keys and just have her walk around. And if, like, there was a treasure chest, I'd just have her pawn one off to, like, the, uh... Any of any of the calves that I can just throw out. I might make Flame my dancer, because she has a really high charisma stat. Flame, oh yeah, it's super easy to make her your dancer. When do you do that? Um... Alright. There was something about, like, a white heron ball. Oh, yeah. You do that already? No. Oh, jeez, when is that then? Because it's like, well, it got interrupted by the beasts when I did it. God, I'm trying to remember. There's a white, there's like a ball or something, and you, and ball. you choose a character to dance. Oh, okay. So oh my did god! You already, <laughs> did you already do that? Uh, no. They, oh. I've seen some memes about people like choosing Raphael from Golden Deer House, and it's just <laughs> him doing the Ricardo dance. <laughs> and well, he gets like full points from Manuela, because it's Manuela. Me not paying attention. <laughs> oh my god, guy. <laughs> okay, we're definitely using guy. He's gotten like an insane level up every time I've ever tried him. Hey, you want to die? Yeah, the tech scene. <laughs> Dude, scene has so much freaking strength. Although Kent is like just freaking min maxing his stats. Okay, we're good. God, why? All right. Great. Something I don't understand. Fire Emblem games always have so many enemy axe units, mm -hmm. except for this one. Uh, I guess oh, Lin wait. Mode. Lin Mode has a lot of them. Lin Mode is the axe farm. Why do you do six damage? Oh, wow, Lucius is like potato level in Hollywood Mode. Died. What's the uh, crit look like for him? He um, points to the heavens and then prays, and his cape goes all flyy, and then he just deletes him. <laughs> it's a good description of what happens. Is that Lin? Yeah, I brought Lynn in here. He's... When'd you get her again? Uh, yeah, I got her a while back. Alright. I don't remember this... that. God. Surprisingly, Hashtag the sword down. units are really good for, like, defeating the, um, the shamans. Because they have high avoid, and they can... Oof. Who, the shamans or the sword Delete? units? No, the sword units. And they can, like, double. They can do bleh. Alright, Sane. Don't fall behind your partner. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Also, um... I, I actually looked this up. The recommended people to make your dancers are either uh, Dorothea or Flane. But it's completely up to you. I know a lot of people choose Dorothea because it's kind of in line with her character and backstory. Do... Okay, does making someone a dancer like... Oh, okay, that's good. Does making someone a dancer, um, like, make them not able to use other weapons or magic or stuff? Or... No, you can, it's it's the same premise throughout. You can basically make them use whatever they want, but there's still certain things that they'll be good at. And certain things that they'll be bad at. My Dorothy knows Meteor, which just kind of... Oh yeah, it just kind of invalidates anything oh on the field at the, any given time. The animation is hilarious if she crits because there's a delay, so to, like, zoom in on the enemy just standing there... And then the game will lag, and they'll just, like, get crushed by a meteor, and you'll see, like, 102 or something. Uh, so I got post-time... Because I just went on a recruiting spree for, like, the entire New Game Plus. So I got a bunch of the people. I got, uh, Searle, I got, uh, all of the Saros Knights that you can recruit. Oh, well, he's dead. That was unnecessary, but tactical. Tactical unnecessariness. Luckily, you don't have to have... Okay. That's kind of bad. Why did you have zero res? She needs strength. She has freaking five. Even Ellie would have... Okay. I thought the game crashed. 
the one nice thing about uh, the old Fire Emblem games compared to the new one is they constantly save where you're at in the level. So if even if the game like crashes, I could still load it up and then mm. I would be on the same action. Do it. He has an eight percent chance to go take it. Oh, I want to delete one of them first. Also, I think I was started talking about this earlier, but one of the best th plays I've ever had is I threw Ignots in the middle of just a bunch of Cavaliers, and he knew close counter, <laughs> and he had a killer bow, and so he literally had a 69% chance to crit, and so he just critted, he crit six times in one turn. What class even is Ignats? Archer. He's an archer. Really? I th I've seen everyone make him a cavalier. I don't. I don't know like what. His I made him a cavalier. Was. He was an art. Uh, arch cav. Whatever it is. Oh, okay. Archer cavalier. Because just is doing that player. makes him literally one of the most powerful classes on the field at any given time. I would just use the magic user behind him and then kill that guy and then move forward. Uh... One of these guys has a lance. Oh no, frick, we're out of here. That's that's not that's no bueno. Is that a crit against? No, a... that's it's the long sword, which is effective against horses. Uh Oh yeah, something I like. I don't know if you know this, but you can actually dismount and mount in three houses. Yeah, I've been using that. All right. It's really stupid, but also awesome. Oh, so if I rescue her, he can't touch her. All right. You're gonna die, oh, Smokey! Tucker comes in from the other. What's yeah. y'all saying? Yes, yeah, so this not a good thing. Um, Might especially because like Kent was only my. Well, it, it's triple. Oh, I don't know what the fuck it is. But... Okay, this guy is also annoying because the Lance Reavers are super good in this game. Isn't that like uh, backwards? Yeah, the Reavers reverse the weapon triangle. So okay. The Keanu Reeves. Do you want to explode? <laughs> Do you want to explode? Well, you did anyway. And I attack scene? Do you want to explode? That's how it is with, uh... Oh, that's how it is with, uh, Raphael and my oh, Golden Deer but... run. Because if you... It's really funny because you get a critical ring and it increases your critical chance by, like, 12% or something stupid like that. And so... You don't even need to give it to Raphael. He has a fifty like three percent chance to crit with steel gaunt with uh, silver gauntlets. So basically, you just throw them at people and they just tend to die and take like fifty four crit damage, which is enough to almost kill any unit instantly. <laughs> um, and then I give Catherine with Thunderbrand. Thunderbrand is basically like, what if we gave steroids to the Wodao? Yeah, I've seen that before. It's just like she hits everyone four times, and like <laughs> you just give her the crit ring, and like she just crits on her first turn, does ninety three damage, and says, "Yep, we're done here. <laughs> or your services are no longer necessary." Oh my God, there's so many sword units. All right, Can dude, this this level is giving me flashbacks to Fates. That awful ship level in Fates. Dude, there's an awful ship level in, like, every Fire Emblem game. It's just, like, a rite of passage. Well, actually, Three Houses one wasn't too bad. It was relatively better, almost, but it was still a ship level, and it was still probably awful. Well, no, most of it was actually on the ground, but there was part of it where you had to board a ship and, like, a bunch of pirates up there, so I just took a flyer up there and killed, like leader on the second turn and ended it there. Alright, this is a survive mission. Alright, forget Manny. It's a 5% crit chance, doesn't hit a 25. Yep, sounds about right. But... Oh man, yeah, let's see. Um, There is a stupid ship... Ooh, that's a good thing. What's it do? That's a promotion item for magic classes, so... Yeah, yeet. yeet. Right through the heart. Brutal. But, yeah, let's see. Sacred Stones had a stupid ship level. Um, Awakening didn't, did it? It, I'm pretty sure, had a ship level. You're, you're on the port, but there is a ship there that was swarming with pirates. 
This game has a stupid ship level. Which is this level. It is this one, yes. Um... Okay, I don't know what video is running right now, but... I like, really hope like that it. it doesn't cut out our audio every time it does that. It doesn't, yeah. Um, it's just the game, because it did this with Metroid too, but... Oh. Um... Yeah. Oh, well, get dabbed on. Guy is just... He's been the most cooperative... 38 crit, jeez! I know, Guy is like... Well, okay, watch until I promote him to a Swordmaster, then I'll get like 58. Just by attacking. I'm just like, hey, how what much if do you, you want to die? Hey, Vsauce Michael here. What if you didn't exist? I have decided that I want to die. Alright, this guy... Yeah, we'll just... Also, is it just me, or does it seem like they bolster the crit rate in three houses? I, I, I do find myself getting a ton of crits, like, all the time, with, like, really low percentages, but... Lowest I got was a 3% crit chance. I said, ah, eh, 3%, I'll take it. And I did it, <laughs> and I ended up killing the unit, and I'm like, oh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Okay. Wait, let's... so you're fighting the Black Fang now? Yeah, they, I guess so. I honestly forget what the story is. Isn't, uh... Isn't Kanish part of the Black Fang? Kind of. Um... He was like a former member who was only there to study things, basically. <laughs> the duality of mankind. Uh, oh, frick. That's not good. Um, okay, so particularly, we need to destroy this guy. Hector, if you hit this, I'll be a happy man. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <Mitt. laughs> All right, now we can actually deal with things properly. So we're gonna have Raven come in and clean this guy up. Mainly, I just don't want Priscilla getting hit because I'm pretty sure she's not gonna be able to take around the combat. <laughs> Healers aren't great at that. Yeah, well, some of them are, but this one isn't. Oh yeah, something great about uh, three houses. Don't you don't have to use freaking stabs. What do you mean stabs? Staves. Oh, staves, yeah. Staves, staves. Staffs. Staffs, whatever. Oh, you get the long sword, okay. Oh, nice. Um, but like, you literally anyone can learn heal if you level their faith up yeah. to. Yeah. You see D, D? It's D, plus? D, yeah. It's just D. But, no, they, they seem to have taken a lot from Echoes in a lot of regards, because it's like. I'm not complaining, I hated. Having to like manage the staff. Oh, staff is a pain because you literally only freaking get. Do you. Okay, the boss doesn't move. Really but yeah, you get 11 experience for healing someone and you have to make it like 10 levels to promote. It's so good. Remember I made Lissa, like, I did gave her, like, the magic as soon as possible, and I just didn't use her to heal anymore, I just used her to kill people. <laughs> it's like, alright then. Luckily you get a unit who kind of counteracts it in this game named Pent. He's one of the most, like, I wouldn't even say best, but he's definitely the most clutch unit in basically any Fire Emblem. Pent, where do I know that from? He, there's an alt of him in Heroes, like, not bad. Oh, uh, Louise. Pent movies. Yeah. Lord Pent. Yep. All right. Dab on this guy. <laughs> God. Fire Emblem Seven predicted the dab. Wow. The guy individually. What the frick is this? His strength growth is like a potato, though. So he's gotten ten strength. Dude, this is like an insane guy. <laughs> so is this one a survivor or is it just route the enemy? You can end it early by routing, but it's a survive. Raven's like, I now knight you with dead. <laughs> I knight the center of your head. <laughs> is that one end credit scene from Shrek? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if you guys don't remember that, there's like an end credit scene or something where Shrek literally kills a person while knighting them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. He's like, oh, just back away from that one. <laughs> oh, just back away from that one, eh? 
All right. Also, um, I watched a Lucky Charms commercial the other day. And they, <laughs> what? Where is this going? <laughs> I don't know. The accents is... I go where the accents take me. And so the accent... They actually gave, like, the guy, like, a really, really Irish accent. And I was thinking to myself, what if they'd made that Jacksepticeye? And just had the freaking Lucky Charms guy just screaming... Jack, okay, fun fact, Jack Septicai actually bans the mention of Lucky Charms on his channel. <laughs> does he actually? He does, or he did at one point, I don't know if he still does, but it was like, wow. <laughs> Got me Lucky Charms. <laughs> I don't think he does anymore, because he's, like, more open about, like, being Irish. Do you know RT Game? Uh, sounds familiar. He does, he's my inspiration for a lot of stuff on Great Blue, I really like the way he does a lot. Um... But <laughs> he, he's basically one of the like play the games the wrong way type of people. Never mind. Uh, he did uh, one of them over. What's the freaking horror game where it's a bunch of you and your friends that go to like this place and there's a murder? Um, I don't know. It's a fairly recent game. Sure. I don't know, but like they did all the wrong choices in it, and it was really funny. But also really disturbing because it's a horror game. Oh yeah, he, I think he's most famous for those of you watching this for the um, I trapped X number of players in a Minecraft box. Like he was the one that started that trend. Really? Yeah. Um, I I watched like the one of the original ones like that because I was like, hmm, I wonder if this is interesting. It was. Then they all hilarious. start throwing hands in like a one by one space. <laughs> it was great, but. Yeah, it's, um, he is Irish, <laughs> and he had a, I asked my subscribers to build Ireland, and someone literally made a Lucky Charms cereal box, and he's like, okay, we're not, we're not having this, <laughs> we're gonna delete this. Uh, I think it was iBoxyCat, or some name, but he does a lot of, like, experiments with making realms, and just letting people go. And he made a world map of, and it was like, uh, it was a scale model of the globe, like, even with, like, environments. So, like, Africa was a lot of desert and stuff. Um, oh, see, wow. Northwestern United States is a Ooh. bunch of forests and stuff. It's spruce forest, so with a lot of Canada being the taiga. Um... So it was really cool, and it was really funny, because I think someone did something really stupid in Germany. I can't remember. I think someone literally just built a Nazi flag over Germany, and that, and that never changed. There is! Did I ever tell you about the time where I was in a build battle in Minecraft, and someone- the, the thing was flag, and someone literally just made the floor red wool and put a black swastika, and it got a legendary? <laughs> now, that's why I don't play build battle anymore, because- it's a meme, it's but it's the really, best kind of meme. It's really hard to actually find a good server where you can, like, actually play. It seems like... Oh, yeah, here he's gonna say the meme. It's not... No, it's just another ship. Oh, yeah. Oh, frick! Same turn reinforcements! Oh! Okay, he only does three damage. Okay, sudden panic go for nothing. Well, same turn reinforcements are a bullcrap concept. That is stupid. Is it, that they had to comment? Is that how it works in this game? Period. No, 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 no. It was how it worked. Okay, Fire Emblem Six was the dumbest Fire Emblem game ever. It had same turn reinforcements. None of the enemies dropped items. You had to steal all of them. Oh my god! Thieves couldn't promote it all. Um. Wait, what can promote it Thieves. all? Thieves. Oh god. So they were basically dead weight, even if you wanted to steal things. It, it wasn't a fun game. Well, it was, but it wasn't a good game. Lances had like 40 accuracy less than swords, and axes... The hand axe literally had 45 base accuracy. So this is just one of those games just like, well, clearly they want me to do this. Well, I don't what, know. What do you think the uh, dominant weapon type in uh, Three Houses is? Probably swords. I'm going to actually argue with you on that one. What would you say? Because I have no idea. I would say either bows, because so many characters use the frickin' bow. Uh, bow, axes, or reason. Okay, magic if we're counting that, definitely. 
Oh my god, they promote reason so freaking much. Hey, you want to see this guy die? Die. <laughs> <laughs> but like, re right, I say reason because... Level. Let me see, I think there's one reason that you can get where it's got like 59 might. And it's like really stupid. But also one shot death knight, guaranteed. Oh, were you talking about the dark spikes? Dark Spikes T, uh, which only has a 47 might, if I recall correctly. It's, uh, it's really good on, like, screwing cavalry over. Other than that, it's not good at much with cavalry. Death Knight is a foe, though, that needs to be dealt with, so. I don't know, but apparently him and Mercedes are related somehow, which is actually hinted at in the game during one of your free periods. Don't know how that works out, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be her dad or something. What the frick are you doing, Kinnis? Like, he's gotten defense like every time, which you don't really want as a mage. All right, frick it, Cavalier Square. Raid area 51. They can't stop all of us. Oh, that oh freaking okay. Oh, it's nine out of eleven. 9-11, bro. Alright, so because I... this game is bullcrit, we're going to um, do save states. I will only do save states if there's a chance of me getting random crit and it's not, like, yeah. Four. So, okay, my game is crapping itself. These guys spawn with, like, freaking... Oh, this guy has actually decent weapons. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Let's... I feel like all the enemies just are intentionally spawned with like really good weapons in this game. Kind of. They're just uh, this chapter especially or the leads to are like freaking killer weapons galore, but it's usually like steel and then silver when you get into the later games. They're they aren't really killer. Sorry. <laughs> Briefly fell asleep. Spencer like just freaking jumped there. Yes, yeah, sit up. And oh I my god, sorry. What were you saying? Uh, well, first of all, sit up, because then that'll make you less. I time. will. Give me a I will. Give me, give me a few hours to sleep. Give me a few hours to sleep. I Dang it, sane. Well, I was. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking on to the pain strain in. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he sounds like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do it. I that was, was a me. joke. I did it like this. <laughs> Alright, try not to die on me now, Lynn. But die anyway. Don't worry about any ambush. Board their ship. Don't know how to fight. Go now or die here. Oh, it's not a crit. <laughs> Means we'll survive. Barely. Oh, if, if you're she wondering why I'm attacking with Lynn, it's because I need her to get a level up. Okay, she does have to dodge this stuff. Oh my gosh. And oh, reset. Oh gosh, we're going to <laughs> save states. <laughs> and press that funky button. We're going to have to actually wait for these guys to die, because otherwise they're not going to. Like, to just... Well, this was a disappointment after <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh... I was gonna say she can. Well, let's actually kill these guys first. So, can I say that the first time that I saw that video when it was in my subscription feed, I was out of school. Uh, I I was abusing my uh, privileges for open campus uh, with Joey Heron because we we just said, hey, let's just make a speedway run. So we said, so we went off to speedway, and he's fueling up. I had already gotten what I needed. I'm sitting in the car watching that video. He just gets in at the part where the demo man comes in. And just like, what in the world is going on? Me? That okay? That can be applied to any parts. That saying, how are you getting like worse level ups than you were? Welcome to Fire Emblem Seven. How may I take your order? Oh, okay. So yeah, one thing that Three Houses did that I found particularly interesting is they made it so if you use the um the it's rewind time button, um, you actually will not be able to like rig level ups that way. So it's no, like, yeah, it's all the same. 
it, it saves whatever level up you got, and it's like, well, that's the one that you're getting. You, it you're also not... saves crits. It does, yeah. But there's actually a concern of mine, because I thought people would just well, keep trying crits. over for crits. Yeah, you can do that in this with save states and something called RNG manipulation, which... Is... Okay. That's right, it was me. Well, you missed too. Well, I guess we'll have to kill you on the player phase. Miss off right okay. there. Is this the most... Yeah, you do. Screw off to another dimension. And... Steel. Just... Bonk. I should watch this get a crit. Him? Yeah, he had a 2%, the Pegasus. Oh. I, I thought you were talking about Kent. Would have been funny, not funny, if they got a crit. I'm just saying. What the frick is this? That's great. <laughs> Dude, Kent and Guy are gonna be my two saviors this run. Like, what the frick are these stats? These are insane for... Okay, here's gamer time. Watch him crit it. But I'm hoping. We're gonna actually yeah, so do what? an enemy phase in case you don't. Uh, here you go. Go, go pester these nerds. Ow, my feelings, Oof. says Raven. But little do they know, Raven has no feelings. I love the way that the animations interact makes it so it's like, heck, like someone can shove a lance completely through Hector's chest and it's like zero damage. I, I, have you seen that piece of artwork before? Okay, not a crit. Where, where it's literally the exact scenario and just like, oh Hector yeah, it's sliding from, down someone's lance towards them. It's from Brawl in the Family, I'm pretty sure. He did a lot of Fire Emblem ones. Oh. It's a nerd. Well, it was. It was a nerd. <laughs> that reminds me, I was watching my cousin play, uh, like, one of the Call of Duties, and he walks into a room, obliterates a guy, and I asked, was that a warlord? And he said, that was a warlord. It was. It used to be. <laughs> it, it was a warlord. Now it's at least four warlords. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> it's just a singular swipe. That's all we get. You possess this much power? Must warn must. Hmm, I must would kill myself die. if mine was must. <laughs> Level up. Flynn, don't fail me. Okay. Okay. Alright, thanks. Five strength still. And I think that is it. Oh yeah, the pirates are like, Ahoy mateys, who wants my lucky charms, and then they just go kill everyone in the next level. Alright. What's this? You root Oh, to and then, and then... And then, Ninian. Uh, I almost called her Nephin. Okay, so we literally Nifine. found her in the water, and then we get her. And then that's where we're going to end it. So thanks for watching, and make Spencer sure to... Spencer falls asleep. Like and subscribe, and subscribe to our Instagram, and like us on Twitter, and then watch our outro. <laughs>